rear liner, uh, the resin sets itself off. What we're doing now is we're actually mixing the chemicals. You notice we pull a vacuum on this bag, and we do that also with the water inversion when we impregnate it. That reassures that every bit of the liner felt is wet with resin. If you don't use a vacuum, the liner would be no good. You'd have dry spots in the liner and it would sag in the line. Now they're pouring the resin into the liner. Now they got all the resin in the bag. They're letting the vacuum take its time to pull the, the resin through the bag. What they're doing is making sure the bag is impregnated with the resin. This liner here can be done from uh, 3 inch up to a 30 inch pipe. Sectional liner it can be shots of 2 foot, 5 foot, 10, 15, whatever length you need. We can also do sectional shots with this if you got a hole in the pipe, say 100, 200 feet down the line and you just you don't want to line the whole thing, we can go in and uh, cover that spot up with a 5, 10, 15, 20 foot piece so you don't have to dig and replace anything. You can have separated pipe. We're going to demonstrate over here when they get this bag wet out. We got a piece of clay and a piece of plastic and uh, they are separated. The liner will shoot right through that and uh, make it one solid piece. How do you get this spread out against the wall? It, you'll see it's got an air bladder. It's a bladder and the liner's inside the bladder. Yeah, what you're looking at, you just brought up a great question, was uh, how do you keep it blown up once you get it in there? Well, with the, they're wetting this out and you notice the resin isn't coming out on the street here. Uh, that's an air bladder on the outside. When this inverts, the air bladder will be on the inside and actually holding the liner up against the wall, a predetermined amount of pressure. Okay, what they're doing now is putting uh, the envelope with the tag in it. That's what we tie the rope to to hold the liner and the bladder back from just taking off. If you didn't have this, when you got to the end of the liner, you wouldn't be able to stop it. You'd just blow the end of it out. the whole growth to the liner now. We're going to actually pull that inside the inversion chute. Pull it. Now they're putting the end on. Now when we put the air to get these air hoses hooked up, get that air compressor started. Keep going, so you're in. Coming through the liner now, or the pipe, coming out of the launcher. You notice how it fills any holes or gaps or anything as it's coming through. Resin is saturated. Still moving, Phil. Here, these two pieces how uh, it fills the void in between these two pieces of pipe. Should be coming out on the end here in a minute. How long does it take to cure? Usually about two hours. Do you leave air pressure on it? Right, until it's hard. Sure. Right, and then we pull that bladder back out of the center. And the nice thing is, you don't have to uh, 
get to the end of it to open it up, it's already open. Like on the water inversion, we got to get to both ends to cut it off, you know.